Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Carla and I post videos on personal development, faith, and lifestyle. And for today, it's going to be a quick video. I was um, doing my devotional and God really had a passage that spoke to me. I'm going to be reading from James 4.13. Um, and this whole entire chapter is just about drawing close to God. And then the section that we're going to be talking about is just warning about self-confidence. And the reason it spoke to me was it was more of a reminder that hey like tomorrow is not promised and I think that with the passing of my dad um, I really come to realize that it's been a realization that we could be here today and literally gone tomorrow and so I just want to take a moment to read this for you guys it's a short passage and the hopes that somebody would be encouraged that today is all you have today is what you have promised so do the most you can take advantage um, of the time he here on earth that God has given you uh, make sure that you tell the people in your life how much they mean to you uh, how much you love them and don't take it for granted I would say so we're going to be reading from James 4 and again and this is verse 13. Look here, you who say, today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and we'll stay there for a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like a morning fog. It's here a little while, but then it's gone. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own plans, and all such boasting is evil. Remember, it is sin to know what ought to do and then not do it. So in my journal, I was just writing that it's such a great reminder, and this is something that I'm going to start implementing in my life, is that, yes, I have plans for tomorrow, but I am not going to say that tomorrow I will do this. If the Lord wants, tomorrow I will do this. So I hope that encouraged you guys that when you're making plans uh, for the weeks to come, always keep in mind that tomorrow is not promised, and ultimately God is in control. And I love what it said here is that what we ought to just say is that if the Lord wants us to and it's such a simple saying but as I mentioned we should start implementing that in our speech and I think it's also such a great way to disciple to other people because they can say like what do you mean by if the Lord wants you to so it's a great way for us to fellowship with them talk to them disciple to them um, and being able to tell them like, hey, yeah, I truly believe that tomorrow is not promised. So if the Lord wants, I will do this tomorrow. And then I also wrote in my journal um, that we just have to remember that it is not our plans. Like it says in uh, verse 16, otherwise you are boasting about your own plans and all such boasting is evil. So clearly by saying that, we're going to go ahead and take a step back and I even wrote this is that we're going to allow God if he needs to interrupt our plans or our day that we're going to let him do that. And so if you're watching this, I would encourage you that just be mindful that yes, we have plans, we have to do lists, we have agendas, we have all that, but also be intentional that if God needs to interrupt your plans, that you are also open to that as well. Ultimately, God has our life in his hands and he knows everything that's going to happen before it does. So before I let you go, I just want to go ahead and take a moment and pray for you guys and then you can click off this video so if you can go ahead and close your eyes and we'll go ahead into prayer Father God, I just want to take a moment and thank you for every person watching on the other side of the screen. Uh, Lord, thank you for just nudging their heart to go ahead and click this video. I pray that they were encouraged and that they received some type of word um, just regarding this passage that our plans are not our own and ultimately, Lord, you are in control and tomorrow is not promised. Lord, help us to just appreciate every day that we have here on earth. Um, help us to be uh, just an influence everywhere we go help us to be vocal about um, saying thank you to the people you have placed in our lives and to say I love you and I appreciate you to them Lord I just also pray that we are intentional of letting you interrupt our daily routine Lord um, so ultimately your will would be done I just thank you for everything that you're doing in the lives of those watching and those who are going to be impacted by um, their willingness to let you interrupt their schedule God thank you for today thank you for uh just being able to speak freely about your word in your name we pray amen 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Remember that every day matters, so make the most out of today, and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless you.